Hey guys, I have some things from the Rudolph collection to review slash swatch for you today from Colourpop. Um, I did not order the entire collection. There was just... What set did I... I got the set that had the palette, the hair clips, and the lip gloss in it. And then I also ordered the Bumble... What is this called? The Humble Bumble Mega Mood Melt? Kind of bummed that I got this because I'm not loving the scent of it, but let's just get into this. I didn't get the whole um, set because I didn't think I was going to get much use out of the lip colors that came with it. They were very, they were kind of dark for my liking. So, um, and what else came with it? There was a highlighter too, I think, but I have so many highlighters at this point, just like I have so many palettes. But um, I had to get the hair clips because I thought these were adorable and I'm going to wear them on Christmas Day. They're just little, uh, what's her name, Clarice hair clips <laughs> that have her little bow on them and her ears and antlers and little fuzzies. So I thought these were super cute. I'm gonna, I hope I remember to put them in my hair on Christmas morning. Um, and then the Humble Bumble Mega Mood Melt. This is, I wasn't sure what this was at first when we were getting pictures and previews of everything. They were just showing the... The back is so cute too. The the Abominable uh, Bumble is my favorite character from Rudolph. So I had to get this. I was... At first I thought that this was a compact and it had like a highlighter or a blush in it and I was super excited about that but then I found out it was just a bath bomb and it was like eh. Um, it is shaped like a snowflake. It is super cute, but the scent of it, it smells very, like, generic soap. It's hard to put a finger on it. I know I've smelled this before. It's like a generic smelling soap, like public restroom soap or something. That's what it smells like to me. It doesn't smell that great, but it's cute. I don't, I don't, what did they charge for this? It was like nine bucks or something. Way too much for a little bath bomb like this. It's not that big. Really not that big. Go into focus. So it's going to stay there, in there for now. I haven't even taken a, a bath in this new house yet since we moved here. I've just been taking showers. I'm not a huge bath person as it is, but I like to take one every now and then. I just have not taken one in this house yet. Um, so this is the couple of misfits lip gloss set. It's the Lux Gloss formula. <laughs> Super cute on the back. It has a uh, Hermie dolly and the Misfit Elephant. I remember years ago, this is going to show my age, but um, CVS Pharmacy had the little beanbag toys that you could collect and my family was trying to get all of them. I, I know we have this one and we have Hermie and the uh, the Bumble. Uh, they're still at my grandma's house because she puts them out every year with her tree. But these are the colors. They're all really nice. Definitely going to use these because they're just glosses. They're not going to give a ton of color, but I will swatch them so you can see on my hand and get an idea. I don't know which one is which. Let's see. This is Hermie. The clear one with iridescent pink sparkles probably be able to see it better on my hand. I almost want to put like a swatch of black lip liner because I feel like you'll be able to see this better. Ooh, this is like a like an orange creamsicle scent to it. I'm probably way off but that's what it smells like to me. It smells like the sugar pill lip, uh, like the liquid to matte lipsticks that they used to make or they might still make them. I haven't bought from them in a while. But this is just clear with an iridescent pink. That is the Hermie one. Just threw off my white balance there. These smell really good and the applicator is like that thick meaty applicator. <laughs> this is the Misfit Elephant one and it's kind of like a coppery color with pink and gold sparkles in there. I've pulled out way too much on that, but just so you can see, it's got like a big applicator on the end of it. So I grabbed a ton of product with this one, but again, it's very sheer. Doesn't give much color, but gives a nice sparkle. I kind of want to put some of this on my lips right now, but I have 
lip balm on already. I like the smell of it though. It's different than like, I was expecting it to be peppermint because usually winter stuff is always peppermint scented. And then this is the Dolly one. It's a pink and it has that same kind of pink and gold sparkle in it that the elephant one has. Let's see. So far nothing looks like it's got scratches or fingerprints all over it, so that's a plus because everything I've been getting from ColourPop lately looks damaged in some way. So there you have it, all three of them, not very pigmented at all, but they all have the same kind of pinky sparkles in there. I don't even know how well the camera is picking it up. I'm trying to get the light to hit it. They're pretty. They'll be nice for winter time. I like the Lux glosses because they stay on for a while without being too super sticky. And I just have to wipe this off so that we can get to the eyeshadow palette. Okay. Now I'm gonna have sparkles all over my hand and I'm trying to trying to get them all off. Alright. Now the Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer palette. I think that's it's just called the Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer palette. Yeah, pressed powder palette. Which means there's gonna be some that have the little asterisk. Only one of them does. The full power one has the asterisk next to it. But this is nice kind of uh, velvety feeling packaging, even though it's cardboard, it's got that like rubberized feel to it. This is a bigger palette than usual. Let's see, what is this the same size as? The same size as like the Powerpuff Girls palette and the Plush Like uh, nope, not Plush Like Me. It's a weird, it's a little bit longer and shorter. Yep, not the same size as Powerpuff Girls either. This is a shape all its own, I guess. Another one that's gonna fit weird in my collection when I line them all up. But I really liked the color story for this because it's kind of, oh, the inside is so cute. It's got little Christmas lights around the edge. It's got Rudolph and Clarice, and then it's got the bumble up there. So I liked, as I was saying, I liked the color story. Oh no. Look at my elf practice palette. I mean, my elf practice color. It looks like it has something smashed into it, or I don't know what that is. See, shooting myself in the foot because I, I've mentioned before how, oh, nothing looks like it's messed with so far. And then this has something going on in it too. It's got some sparkle from one of the other colors, but then that just looks dirty there. <sighs> This is such a bummer that I keep getting things that are icky looking like that. All right, um, so I'm just gonna get into swatching it. And stay away from that corner because I don't know what's going on there. I might just scrape that out actually. Um, the first color is North Pole. This is a very smooth icy champagne color. Kind of feels like that's a, it's creamy like a super shock, but it's not like smushy, that smushy texture. So I don't think it is. Um, mush mush. This is a matte, even though it's got some sparkle shoved in there. This is a matte taupe, one of my favorite kind of colors. Oh, kind of wanted to stick in one, one place there. Not sure what's up with that, but that is a nice transition shade, a nice transition taupe. Let me try shutting this off. Now see, now that's way, that's going to be way too dark. I'm just trying to mess with the the light here. I guess not. I guess I have to put that one back on and put it this way though. Okay. That's mush mush. And then we have independent together. This is a matte, kind of like a peachy blush pink. 
What is going on with the focus? I should have wait shouldn't have waited till nighttime to do this cuz this room is kind of dark other than the the lighting set up here. Eat eat. This is a matte creamy peach color. I need to leave some more room on my hand here because it's not going to fit. And then lots of tinsel is the last one in this row. That is kind of like an icy copper color. Very metallic. I'm going to put this one right here. <laughs> so that's the first row. So the second row here, elf practice, which <laughs> I don't want to go near that brown spot because I don't know what that is. But this is an icy olive color with like a gold sheen to it. Let's start that one way back here so that we'll have enough room. I really like this color. Kind of reminds me of one in the Tinkerbell palette. Is it the Tinkerbell one or the Boston Celtics one? <laughs> I can't remember. One of the ones I recently swatched had a an icy olive color like that. Misfit Toys. This is kind of like a metallic pinky silver. And it's got little bits of, it looks like silver sparkles in it. Yeah, I would say silver. So that's Misfit Toys. Handsome Nose is the metallic kind of brick red. That's really pretty. I was expecting like a bright red in this palette for his nose, but that's definitely a pretty red for Christmas time. Then Snowbank. This is a metallic kind of golden brown. That's a really cool color. I was expecting it to just swatch like brownish, but it's actually got like a glow to it when it hits the light. It's very metallic. I like that one a lot. See how much it's shining when it hits the light? So that gold and that red together, definite Christmas combo. Um, Little Buck, this is a matte chocolatey brown. Super soft and I think I just grabbed too much of it. But it's nice and pigmented. So that is the middle row. Kinda, the first four look like Christmas lights or something. They're really pretty. I like that middle row together. Um, we have Christmassy Time, which is this matte, really deep, like, forest green. Sorry, I'm going out of focus again. That's a pretty color. That one kind of wants to stain my finger a little bit. Um, Gadzooks. This is a matte, kind of grayish brown. That's a weird color to try to describe. Let's swatch it and see. Yeah, it's a very, very cool toned brown. Um, up, up, and away. That one's super soft. This is a metallic, really blackened purple kind of color, but like not super dark. <laughs> this is a hard one to describe too. It's like a dusty purple with a bunch of pink sparkles in it. And it's another one that's really pretty when the light hits it. That one's super soft too. You know, I said dusty purple, but it's more like it's got more of like a brownish base to it. Another hard one to describe. Then we have Full Power. This is the only one that has the little asterisk next to it, so I'm assuming this one's going to stain me. Whoa! That is a really, really dark, like, maroon color. And it's matte. And it threw off my white balance, so you probably can't see it that great but that's very pigmented and very soft. And I'm wiping my finger on a wipe right here 
doesn't stain too bad, but it's definitely got a pinky residue to it. And then the last color is Ready Santa. And that is just a really dark matte brown. Oh, that was kind of a crappy swatch. But that is the bottom row. Definitely the darkest row out of the palette. I think I like these middle colors the best. They just look really pretty together. Especially this one that surprised me because I thought that was just going to be the usual golden brown color. Let's see if they're going to stick to my hand still. Yep. <laughs> well, that one that I said was going to stain definitely stains. But I'll see if I can get it off with this pharmacy stuff again. This stuff just takes everything off. It's awesome. It might not take off that stained color. Stained pinky color, though. No, see? Didn't get it all off. Then again, my hand is red, too, from all this cleaning. But it got it off decent enough, so... That is the Rudolph palette. I really like it. Wish it didn't have... Well, I kind of got rid of the, the glitter stuff that was messed on top of there. But that chunk of whatever that is... Is not making me happy. <laughs> but other than that, really cute color story. I like this color story for Christmas time especially. Um, I just lost my wipe because I was trying to clean off all the fallout that I got all over the desk. But I hope this video was helpful for you guys. The I don't think this stuff ever sold out so it should still be available on the ColourPop site. But the palette and the palette, the couple of Misfits lip glosses, Lux glosses, whatever, and the uh, bows. <laughs> the hair clips were a set. And that is the set that I got, and then I just bought the the Bumble um, bath bomb separately. So that is everything that I got from the Rudolph collection. Um, let me know if you guys picked anything up. If you had dirty eyeshadows like I did when I opened up my palette. Even look at over here. I didn't notice that either. This is all dirty too. But that just looks like eyeshadow got spilled on it or something. But... Again, I, I don't understand how they're, they're just making messes all over the factory, I guess. Um, but yeah, I hope this was helpful for you guys, and I'll talk to you in my next video.